Hello and welcome to my review, the Jimmy Airborne Inflatable 10 foot tall Jack Skellington on Pumpkin. I bought this off of Amazon in the gigantic sale that they put on for a few inflatables. This one was one of them. I'll put the other ones on screen for you right now. This inflatable is valued at $180 on Seasons Inflatables, currently egregiously overpriced. For 40 bucks, I will take it. I might sell it. I don't think I'm going to like it. There's a reason why I didn't already own this inflatable. Granted, it came out in 2022, if I recall correctly, but it's very bland. It's just a bigger version of the existing, I think, three foot one that sold a few years ago. It's been around for a while. I know at home carry the cheap fan at one point, and it's been sold at many other places as well. But this is the base fan version of that. It's got micro LED lights, a technology I'm not a huge fan of. I just don't think they're very eye catching. And I think Jimmy's kind of doing away with them because I haven't seen them on any 2023 designs thus far. So I might sell this, could easily make a profit off of it if I just wait until that sale goes away. Start off with a steak pack. You've got four plastic stakes, four metal stakes, and then four tethers, just the standard. My guess is that this inflatable is going to have a YEF 60. It just seems like it. Instructions right here, kind of wrapped around, or I guess the sticker stuck to it. But anyway, there you go. And of course, the rest of the inflatable. So I'll take this outside, spread it out, and we'll get this review going. I was wrong when I said this inflatable has a YEF 60. It actually has a YEF 80. I was going to film it on the porch. However, it is too big and there's just not enough walking room to do a 360 view of it. So we've got it down here, right where I filmed the candy cane archway. I do have it staked because it's a little wobbly. It's gotta be staked down if you want it to stand up symmetrically. Some inflatables you can get away with not doing that. This one is not one of them. Without further delay, let's go ahead and inflate it. Taking right around a minute to inflate this inflatable is very basic, but I can't help but feel satisfied considering I only spent two Jacksons on it. Despite its simplicity, you do get a few qualities about this inflatable that are unique in the sense that the Jack Skellington, his animated pose that he has, this is the largest form of that. All the nine foot Jack Skellington stand straight up like a pencil and aren't actually accurate to the film. This one though, with the skinny arms and skinny legs, seem much more movie-like. It certainly has that going for it. If you look at the micro LED lights at the bottom, you're gonna struggle to see them. They aren't very bright during the day. That has to be a con just because it looks like it's sitting on an orange blob, a serious downside to this particular design. Micro LED really do think it's on its way out. It flashes on for about two seconds and then goes off for one second. So that's the timing with the lighting at the bottom. If you're considering getting this inflatable, know that the sale is probably over at this point. It's Sunday, May 28th at the time of uploading this video. That's not when I filmed it though. And the last time I checked, it was back up to $57 for this guy. But if you own it already or it's currently on its way to you, I'll say this. It's a very good inflatable if you want it to greet somebody. You could put it at the front of your display, have it there. It's 10 feet tall, so it will definitely get some people's attention. Or you could put it in a pumpkin patch. The only problem with that is it looks like it's on a giant orange beach ball in the daytime. So those are the two options I'd recommend. Personally, I like the greeting one a whole lot better. Whatever works for you, of course, I just found that inflatables look the best when they're fulfilling a purpose. This one with waving just seems like it would be good closer to the road. This inflatable has one sole zipper located down by the base fan. I really do wish though it had one in the back of Jack Skellington that would make accessing those C7s a little bit easier. I could say the same for a lot of inflatables. Pulling through all that fabric gets to be a hassle. The 20 foot Nutcracker, for example, it's almost impossible to replace a C7 up by its head because it's 20 feet of fabric that you're having to kind of like shuffle your way through and it just becomes super annoying. If there was a zipper right back there, just a little pocket, reach in, replace the C7, and then you're good to go. Sorting your way through all that fabric is just not ideal by any means. In terms of how well it inflates, I'd say pretty much average. I can't push on it very much. But for things like the fingers with a YF80, you're just not going to get that tight. It's just not going to happen. I can see a C7 right there, and then we know that there's one in the neck. However, I don't know the total number, but we'll find that out this evening. Thank you so much for watching my review on the Jimmy Airborne Inflatable 10-foot Jack Skellington Micro LED Pumpkin. I didn't think I'd be owning this until I saw someone post it on Facebook about how there's these crazy sales on Amazon. I headed over there, snagged it as I liked it more than any of the others that were discounted. Now that I have it here in hand, I'm as happy as I can be with it. Thanks again so much for watching this review. I'll catch you later. Peace out. Bye.